Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the time is for you. It's Satul from Techobia. I know that it's quite long. I didn't post it any video on the YouTube, but uh, yesterday I was uh, doing some particular upgrade in my Vesta CP, uh, which was from PHP 7.2 to 7.4. If you check my previous uh, video where I already showed you, uh, if you were running on the PHP 7.2 with the PHP FPM, how to upgrade it or update it. To the php 7.2 so this time i uh, do another update where i updated it to the php 7.4 i was like looking at some particular issues which i showed you in the process overall update was successful everything is working fine i am also right now using the latest version of the joomla latest version of the wordpress so let's see how this video is right now just switch to the tutorial and here you can see the instructions that how to do the same in this video I'm going to tell you that how you can update your PHP 7.2 to 7.4 as we can see right now we are using the 7.2 version and here if I'm showing you inside our website using the PHP info from the web interface that it was build date on the January 13 2019 and we are running it on Ubuntu 16. So here are the steps what we have to do. First of all, we have to add the repository by using this command. And after that, we have to update it by using this command apt get update. And you will get all the commands in the description as well. And here, what I'm doing, I'm using Vesta CP command to backup my user, which is a v hyphen backup hyphen user space your username. So if you are using uh, different usernames, you can use those usernames to backup your entire user. This is for the this is for the fail safe. Right now, this is a command which you can use to see what are the packages which are installed for your PHP 7.2, and you need to copy those. As I am using Sublime Text Editor as a text editor, you can use any to paste it there. Our primary objective is to remove all these install and the blank spaces after replacing 7.2 to 7.4 because we need all these packages now when we are installing 7.4 to make sure to make sure that we have every package which was installed for our PHP 7.2 we will install the same in the PHP 7.4 So here I'm going to use the command apt get install php 7.4 whereas if I'm running this command individually as like this you can see once it is going to complete the installation I'm going to get a lot of the errors like where these are not the errors because I can simply select these options to bypass these. And here I can see errors were encountered while processing PHP 7.0. So right now I'm going to use this command for the apt get install. So it will also compile and install all the packages required for PHP 7.4. So whatever the binaries are already over there for the PHP 7.0 or 7.2 will not cause any error. As PHP 7.4 recode is not required right now. As for the PHP 7.2, we have to remove the PHP encrypt. In similar way, I am removing this from this package. And right now it is again showing us the same message. As we know that uh, the same is uninstalled. So we are going to use these commands a to disk mode php 7.2 and a to n mode enable mode 7.4 after that if you are using apache just restart your apache or if you are using php fpm you can stop php fpm here i know that i was using php 7.2 fpm so i stopped that and 
right now I am running PHP 7.4 and using this particular command update alternatives I can check what is the default alternative which is right now select to run my PHP so here I am just restarting the services but here we are not done because if you are going to check the web interface web interface is Vesta CP web interface is still running somewhere else so for that we have to change some particular stuff so what are these first of all we have to go to the 7.4 folder and make sure what is available inside the pool.d directory inside the FPM because if we were running the websites on the old server in the PHP 7.2, we need to copy all the files from the pool.d directory of etc php 7.2 fpm pool.d to this one. Here I found one file which I don't need. I deleted the same. And right now I am copying the files from the PHP 7.2. Okay. This command is not working so let me go to the php 7.2 and from here i can see all the files and i'm copying those inside the pool.d directory of php 7.4 if we are not doing the steps our existing websites or the domains will not gonna work and after that we need to modify this vesta cp file to make sure that the web backend which we are using right now with the Vesta CP is PHP FPM 7.4. As I already showed you that our site is down and it is showing the error from the Cloudflare. So here I am adding 7.4 at the end. I am going to save the file. You can open it in a nano or you can use VI editor wherever you are comfortable. Main objective is to change this particular line. Right now, if I am refreshing, I can see I am using a PHP version 7.4.5 and the build date is April 19, 2020. Now, let's check the site. Is it showing us any error or it is running okay? 